Hi, I'm Meg Wilson, and this is the General Campus Emergency Department. You're going to find the General Campus Emergency Department on the second floor of the General Campus. And here we are in the hallway between the ORs and the ICU and the main hospital down that way. So if you've hit the Tim Hortons, you're too far, and if you hit the second cup, you're also too far. Um, you're going to need your swipe badge to get it. Let's go to urgent care first. This is urgent care, and this is where you'll find your staff for any urgent care shifts we have in the general. All of these computers are physician resident that's doing computers. Don't use these ones around the side. Uh, they're nursing, clerk computers, and somebody will definitely ask you to move. Another area where we use computers is back here. All of the patient rooms in urgent care are around the outside. They're all in a number from 1 to 18. Actually, to 19. Back here is another row of computers. Hi! Back here is another row of computers that are all safe to use. In this area, there are more computers, all safe to use. A lot of the time consultant services will use these ones. Ultrasound machine in, the, in urgent care is often kept here. This is our eye ring. It has one of our slit lamps, as well as a lot of tools that we use to do eye examinations. This is our ear, nose, and throat room. We'll often see patients with uh, ENT type complaints in this room. There's also another slow lamp here. This is one of our minor procedure rooms. This one's actually called room number two, but you'll see it on Epic as minor procedure room two. Come on back, we'll look at the plaster room. This is the plaster room. There are four beds in here. Sometimes admitted patients will stay in here and sometimes we'll be assessing patients with MSK complaints. It also has all of our casting material. So if you need to cast a patient, you can also bring them back in here, even seat them in a chair to get a cast done. Let's go over to observation now. Remember this hallway we already came through. Um, this is observation of the general. A lot of the time at the general, because it's attached to the cancer center, it'll affect who we see here. Lots of cancer patients, um, as well as people with mobility issues or other medicine. Um, issues, we'll also see surgical abdominal pains here, and plenty of other things. By convention, this is going to be the computer for our emergency staff. Give away a mic. This is going to be the computer for our uh, resident on shift. Hi. <laughs> and you'll actually be able to meet your staff here for handover. Unfortunately, med student often gets a computer in the back, and I'll show you that now. All of these computers are currently being used by hardworking consultants, and immense you can also use any of the computers back here. Our pack station's there as well. Now let's go over to the emergent care. You can access emergent care from the hallway that we were just in, or through this back hallway. I'll show you this because there's a staff washroom room. This is the emergent care. You're going to see lots of patients here who need cardio, uh, cardiovascular monitoring. Sometimes patients might be here and septic or uh, have toxic drugs that need to have monitoring concerning chest pain. 
by convention in here, the staff computers in the far corner, but any of these computers otherwise are fine for computers. The computers all back here in this little alcove are generally for consultants. Around the outside, just like in observation, we see nursing computers. Somebody's probably going to ask you to use those ones. All the patient rooms, just like in observation, are all around the outside, from 1 to 14 here, sorry, 1 to 16 here, and 1 to 20 in observation. We can go over to resuscitation now. This is resuscitation of the general. You'll see all of our sickest patients here. You'll also see any patient who needs procedural sedation come into this room. Um, we have beds one through four, and any of the computers over here are fine for you to use. Now we'll go see offload, which is one of the unconventional spaces that we see observation patients in. This is one way to get there, but there's another way between observation and emergent. Morning. This is offload. There are several beds lined up against the wall. Often what will happen is that they'll move into observation once there's a bed available there. But we can start seeing patients back here, and you can start your assessment, and even put in orders with one of the computers. You want to show us how it hooks up to the, the sure. ops? around to get to a big square and back here again is that washroom that I showed you between emergent care and observation. If somebody says go to the conference room, that's actually this room, which is another unconventional space. Often admitted patients will be held here for a little bit of time before they're found a bed upstairs. hallway where we started. I hope that answers some questions that you had about the emergency department at the general campus. If you have more questions, you can ask anyone on shift, and some of them might even be answered in some of your emails. I hope you have a great rotation.